Hey, Donya Sarah, this is your reading because you got my joke, because you watched the video. That's fantastic. Ah! And like, you're the first person to answer it correctly, but the second person um, that ever answered it, ever close, but not that close. So, this is your birthday reading. Wow. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> That's so fantastic. And how fun is that, okay? So, let me just shuffle these cards up for you real quick. And then we're going to see what kind of birthday reading you get today. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're going to have a fantastic day. And may all your wishes come true. So, give me a sec. Shuffle these up. Drink some of my coffee as I do. And we'll get this right going for you. Mm. All right. Let's see. I'm going to shuffle one more time. And you know how I do it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is awesome. I'm, I'm glad that I'm doing your birthday reading today. It's fantastic. All right. Let's get into it. Ready? Okay. Here's your first card. Ooh. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Mm hmm This is slow and steady wins the race, right? This is moving towards abundance, okay? Because the night, they take action. And the pentacles is abundance, okay? So I think slowly but steadily, you are moving towards building a stronger foundation. Oh, look at that happy birthday. <laughs> That's fantastic. Ace of Cups. So you're moving towards, ooh, possibly a brand new opportunity in love. Mm. Or, my friend, you could be wanting to take action to bring this love to somebody. This is a giant cup. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So you could be moving towards this. Well... Let's get into the story. This also could be like fulfilling your own cup, right? Your own emotions, your own love for yourself, building this up, which I kind of feel that's more like it because with this ah, <laughs> professional card dropper, with the night, it's taking action, okay? And for that foundation, I really feel this is this is your own emotions. This is own, your own love for yourself, right? All right, this is kind of juicy already. Let's keep going. Yeah, it's definitely your own emotions, your own love for yourself that you're building up. You're filling your own cup, and you're slowly taking that action because now you have the hermit card, okay? And the hermit's analyzing things, right? He goes within... Tries to find that inner light, right? So I think you're trying to find ways to do this, right? Trying to find ways that, um, you know, are going to make you happy. All right, that's pretty good. Look at that, Ten of Cups. What? Wow. If this is not a fantastic birthday reading, I don't know what is. Because this is my first one. <laughs> okay, so Ten of Cups, that's like family, that's home, that's, you know, um, big time wish fulfillment, right? So, I think that you're going to get to a point where you completely get to fill your own emotional cup. Because you're looking into things that make you happy, like family and, you know, what else is on this card? Maybe there's even another partner. Who knows, right? Still a little too early, but basically I think this is just generally for your, your own self, your own emotions, the things that, you know, make you happy in life or, or that you want to, you know, achieve to kind of harmonize that that whole structure uh eight of pentacles right yeah so 
you definitely have been putting in the time, the effort, the hard work to really achieve this emotional abundance, this self-fulfillment, because you're taking action, or you will be. Wow, this is really good. Queen of Wands, because you're, you're attractive, right? You're creative. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're finding something now, because we have some pentacles out here. You have the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of, uh, Nine of Pentacles. Now with the Queen of Wands, she's, like I said, attractive, creative, uh, a little sassy, right? But I think that you're finding some kind of creative niche, maybe that has to do with putting in work like for work okay maybe you're finding a job that really satisfies you really makes you happy right that would fulfill our emotions completely if we all found the job that we loved right it's kind of what i'm sensing because pentacles isn't just about money it's stability right it's the foundation it's your it's your earthly realm stuff right so it could be, you know, a few different things with that concerning stability, right? So now you have the Eight of Swords, okay? Well, Eight of Swords says you're a little worried, okay? You're, you, you're a little trapped in your mind about maybe it's the progression of things, okay? Maybe you're not seeing all the results now. Okay, because you have that knight, knight of pentacles, that's slow and steady. So maybe with this queen of wands, you're a little sassy, you're ready to go, you're all fired up, you want it to, you want it to happen like now. And so this is kind of that reflection of being trapped in your head a little bit because you're starting to overthink things. Wondering about when the balance in your life will take place. Six of Pentacles, even give and take. Maybe somebody wants to give you something, but I feel it's more of that balance, right? You're overthinking of this. When is it going to finally balance out? When is my life finally going to just come to a point where I could sit back, relax, and just, you know, really take in all the hard work that I put in to make myself happy? Oh, star card. Interesting. Star card. Well, that's healing. Okay, so maybe with the he with the star card and the eight of swords, I think that you kind of give yourself that balance to heal yourself from overthinking because some people just get trapped and they get stuck they get locked up and they can't get out of it but here i think that you find the balance through you know healing self-healing you 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 encourage yourself you you know that you're a star you know that you can have the life that you want but you know it's just going to take time that's you healing from this overthinking Okay, that's nice. That's really nice. I like that. Oh, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Boom. That's follow the yellow brick road. So you're on the right path. You're on the right path to abundance, to that ultimate stability, that... Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's looking real good. Okay. So like I said, you're on the right track. You're, you're going to encounter some mental... Mm, stuckness but you will find the balance to heal that and continue on this journey wow 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 <laughs> all right five of pentacles and it's going to change your stability so fives represent change the pentacles like i said is the stability this could be a job this could be a career this could be definitely something that is going to change the way your stability is now okay because you've been working hard to really find things in your life 
people, places, and things. Could be the job, it could be a person. To really get to that point in your life where you're finally happy, you're finally settled, you're finally structured, you're finally in a place where you want to be. And when you heal yourself from overthinking of when all this is gonna happen, you stay on that path and it's going to change the way your structure and stability is now. Because you freed your mind. And you're going to make a decision. You, you made a decision to free your mind. You made this choice to really stay on the path of this abundance, of this happy life that you want. Not only just emotionally, but mentally and physically because your finances are going to change. Okay, let's keep going. This is good. I got a couple more cards before the ending. And then we'll get to the outcome. Look at that sun card. You're going to be very happy with the decisions that you are about to make that is going to change your stability in ways that you don't even imagine. That is why you're having a hard time in your head about seeing the results that you've put the hard work in for. Sun card, best card of the deck. Here is your last card. Two of Wands. You made the choice, you stick into the choice. Now the, look at that light shining on the pathway. That's your roadmap to your happiness, that is the divine shining the light on the pathway for you because you have put in the work to overcome your own mental trappedness, really pushing forward to balance your life out, to really keep going on this journey, this path of ultimate abundance in all kinds of ways. So you're going to be happy with what's going to be at the end of the there is light at the end of the tunnel, we'll say, right? Wow, two of wands. That's beautiful, okay? So that's the reading. Here comes your outcome. Are you ready? There it is. Magician. This is you, my friend, manifesting what you want in your life. You know why? I'll tell you after I sip my coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> because you have all the tools to be able to get what you want. You're the magician. You control your life. You decide what you want. You decide what you don't want. That's the magician. You're making all this happen. And you have the abilities to make it happen. Wow. This is really good. Okay, there it is. It just wanted to throw itself out there. What is it? What do we got? Ah, Ten of Wands. Normally that would be burdens and barriers and blockages that you're carrying, right? But tens represent endings and completions. So when you are able to put this all together, you can now manifest ending any kind of burden, any kind of blockage or barrier that has been put on your journey to make you overthink things, to say this is too hard to get my own happiness that I want, but you're strong enough to keep going, change your whole outlook, and continue on that slow and steady path for your happiness, and you're going to be very happy with the decisions that you make. And you're going to stick to those decisions because you are going to release any problems, burdens that will come or have come up in your way. That is super good. Happy birthday, my friend. That was great. Thank you for nailing that joke. That was pretty sweet. It was a little like fifth grade, but you know, it's still sweet. So, my friend, Tanya. Happy birthday to you, my friend. Enjoy your beautiful day because it is your day and it is worth it because you are worth it. So, hope you liked your reading. Peace and prayer, my friend. I'll see you later. <laughs>